Hello everyone. We are going to discuss museum techniques. A pathology museum it serves many functions. It should aim to be a permanent exhibition of common morphological conditions for undergraduates and postgraduate self education. It is a collection of specimens illustrating rare conditions or specimen of historic interest. A collection of specimens which can be used as the basis of pathology quizzes, medical exhibition, examination vivas, lectures and demonstrations. It is a permanent source of histological material for teaching and research. It is a permanent source of photographic material for exhibitions and publications. The basic museum techniques it has following steps reception then preparation of specimen fixation of specimen restoration of the specimen then its preservation and presentation so reception of specimen the specimen should be received along with their accurate records entering all the relevant details in a reception book it includes date and receipt of specimen name of the patient age sex clinical diagnosis the post mortem or histological section number and name of the donor that is pathologist surgeon or clinician in charge so preparation of specimen a good museum specimen should be received in a fresh unfixed state immediately after its removal any gross trimming and dissection necessary should be carried out there and then put the specimen into the fixative almost immediately if specimen is allowed to dry then permanent darkening will result specimen should never be washed in water as the resulting hemolysis will cause the permanent staining of the final mounting solution so necessary washing it should be carried out with fixative only the cut surfaces of the specimen should be smooth and even and it is achieved by using a continuous stroke with a long bladed sharp knife tissue for histopathological examination should be either taken from back of the specimen or neatly removed from front with a scalpel so third step is fixation of the specimen to ensure adequate fixation specimen should always be injected with fixatives if possible excess blood or mucus should be removed by washing in saline or formal saline fresh specimen should lie on a thick layer of cotton wool covered by lint since contact with container may alter its contour specimen with its attached structures like attached skin or intestine may be pinned to a cork board which are then floated on the fixing fluid the cystic cavities if they are unopened they are inflated with fixatives if cavity is opened they should be packed with cotton wool soaked in fixative to maintain their natural shape Higginson syringe or hypodermic syringe may be used for inflation bile stained or bile containing specimens they must be fixed and stored separately the solid organs like liver they may be perfused through vein artery if artery is blocked then slice cut and place the cut surface face downwards onto a lint cover if the specimen is limp due to presence of hard as well as soft tissue unfixed limb is placed in an adequately large container of 95% alcohol pre-cooled with solid carbon dioxide it is suspended by means of string in such solution for at least an hour and low temperature is maintained by adding more solid carbon dioxide after adequate freezing limb is cut in a suitable plane for fixation
the specimen of heart should be placed in adequately large container of fixative and additional fixative perfused through the coronary ostia with a syringe if it is cut all the cavities adequately padded out with cotton wool specimen of brain as brain is very soft it has to be properly fixed before handling it in a fresh state so brain is perfused through basilar and cerebral arteries at its base and it should be suspended by basilar artery within the fixative it is left in this state for a week and then bisected out with a brain knife fourth step is restoration of specimen 10% formal saline can be used for primary fixation and specimen is then transferred to a special fixative afterwards so restoration is done by pulvered aft kesserling method wentwood method and schulz carbon monoxide technique out of three met methods kesserling method we are going to discuss it includes three solution kesseling fluid 1 kesseling fluid 2 and kesseling fluid 3 kesseling fluid 1 it is a fixing fluid so composition is it has formalin 400 ml potassium nitrate 30 g potassium acetate 60 g and tap water is added to 2 liters specimen may be transferred to fluid 1 after fixation in formal saline or directly in it kesseling fluid 2 it has 80% of ethyl alcohol kesseling fluid 2 is used for restoration of color time should be carefully controlled since once full color is restored after 30 minutes to 4 hours depending on the size of the specimen continued immersion of the specimen in alcohol it has a permanent bleaching effect now the third fluid is kesserling mounting fluid 3 in which color should be maintained so it has glycerin 300 ml sodium acetate 100 g formalin 5 ml and tap water sodium hydrosulfite 0.4% is added immediately before sealing the jar so dissolve the sodium acetate in warm tap water then add glycerin and formalin and make up the volume with cold water then filter the solution if cloudiness appears it is due to impurities in the sodium acetate so what we have to do for cloudiness we will add 30 ml of saturated solution of camphor in alcohol that should be added to 1 liter of solution and then we filter the solution so kesseling fluid 1 it is for fixation fluid 2 it is for restoration of the color and three for maintaining the color then fifth step is preservation of specimen kesseling three solution produce a more solid effect to the final mount if we add grain of thymol or little formalin it will prevent the formation of molds in the solution so thymol it will act as preservative it will prevent formation of molds the last step is presentation of specimen so the specimen it is mounted in rectangular glass jars or perspex jars or even in cylindrical jars but rectangular glass jars and perspex jars they are preferred over cylindrical jars so this is how the pathology museum is maintained it is made and it is important as a permanent exhibition of common morphological conditions for illustrating the rare conditions basis of pathology quizzes a source of teaching research and photographic materials for exhibitions and publications thank you